The roar of the crowd at this season's NFL Super Bowl will be matched by the roar of Katy Perry's pipes. The NFL confirmed Sunday the 30-year-old pop superstar will be the main attraction at the Pepsi Super Bowl 49 halftime show in Glendale, Arizona this February. The announcement was made during NBC's Sunday night football matchup between the New York Giants and Dallas Cowboys. And Perry says she's already got a few ideas on how to kick the show up a notch, as she revealed in her new Pepsi commercial. What if we covered the stadium in glitter? I said, Vegas, it's not unicorn! <sighs> Kittens! Oh, this is great. But we're gonna need like a thousand of them. Now, while some of those killer ideas might not make the final cut, one thing's for sure. There will be plenty of eyeballs watching her take the stage with whatever she comes up with. Last year, the Super Bowl halftime show featuring Bruno Mars pulled in more than 115 million viewers, the largest audience ever to watch the mid-game spectacle. And with her Katie Cats chomping at the bit for this performance, Perry has a shot at eclipsing that number for sure. The multi-platinum artist has been all over the Billboard Top 100 since her second album, One of the Boys, hit the charts in 2008. In fact, Perry's third album, Teenage Dream, became the first by a female artist to have five singles break into those coveted top 100 slots, making her the first artist overall to do so since this one guy by the name of Michael Jackson did it with his Bad album in 1987. Speaking of the Battle of the Sexes, Perry's performance will also fall right in line with a recent trend for halftime shows, that is, female dominance. Perry becomes the third female pop star in four years to nab the halftime spotlight after Beyonce and Madonna headlined in 2012 and 2011 respectively. Whereas the later half of the last decade saw a string of male artists headline the event, such as Bruce Springsteen, Prince, and the Rolling Stones. Perry's performance at the Pepsi Super Bowl 49 halftime show will get underway at the University of Phoenix Stadium February 1st and will be televised on NBC. For Newsy, I'm Jay Struberg.